you can this see queue is so long. To do a story about what? There's always dragons. So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you, what in the fuck are we doing here? I. Universe is made of 12 particles of matter, 4 forces of nature. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to do a first impression from this. It's gonna take forever. So, I mean, yeah, it's quite nice. Character creation was fun. The music's good. I'm not quite sure as to our motivation for being inside this volcano, but perhaps. We are about to fight Ragnaros or something equally interesting, which would be cool. The version text is in the top center of the screen instead of the bottom right, which is quite worrying. It's really unorthodox to see it up here, and if you look at the version number, it's 1.21030416A.12. It's a very unorthodox, a lot of numbers there. It's more like the build than the version, I suppose. But it really should be at the bottom right and simplified a bit. Like, imagine having to look up the patch notes for this build here, 1.21... Uh, I can't even get the numbers right, 1.20130... And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's obviously some wind coming by, I assume it's, it's steam. Uh, I get the impression that my dwarf is kind of, like, smelling a lot of sulfur right here. Because he is inside a volcano, after all. This steam is probably filled with uh, a rancid acid of rotten eggs. But he seems kind of unfazed. He seems a little bit perturbed, but I mean... He kind of uh, battle ready there. He's keeping his stance ready, ready to fight whatever's coming his way. Just waiting patiently in the queue. The lava seems to be ever flowing, but uh, as far as I can tell, it ends right here. I'm not sure what it, where it's flowing. It must be flowing underneath the rock somehow. But... Uh, I'm not sure where. And really, lava should start melting the rock around it after a while. So whatever we're standing on is, is probably pretty dangerous. It'll take quite a while uh, before the rock would melt, of course. But I mean, we've been standing here for a while now. I'm starting to get a little bit worried. The armor is kind of weird. It's got a lot of spikes on it. Spikes like these weren't actually on armor in this time period. I know this is fantasy, but still. You would never want anything that would actually catch a blade, you would want the blade to just slide off you. It also looks really heavy, but uh, he doesn't seem to have any problem keeping his arm above his head like that. I suppose he is resting it on his shoulder, uh, which seems kind of silly. And this sword is way too tall for this dwarf. Just look at how tall this sword is. It's about as tall as the dwarf himself, so it's definitely a two-handed sword, but it must be really awkward to swing a sword that tall when you're as short as this dwarf here is. And it's actually not designed to catch a blade, which I suppose makes sense because it is a two-handed sword and you wouldn't use it for like fencing really. I'm not sure what these protrusions are for. Normally the hilt would actually go up until about this point and this part in the middle would be another leather-bound strap. There would be a hilt, uh, a hilt guard here and then there would be two protrusions here. So you can grab it here and here to actually use it almost like a spear because uh, a two-handed sword like this they weren't really used in battle uh, you would sort of get a swing going on them so you could get inside uh, pike lines on the battlefield start swinging the sword around in about like a figure eight and swipe all the swords aside and then once you're inside the formation you would either just drop the, 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 the sword pull out some other weapon on you or you would grab it by its uh, its second handle and use it like a thrusting spear. I'm also kind of worrying about this thing down here. What's with the like the little the dangle of, of scale mail down here? You would raise your elbow or I mean your knee upwards, like bend your knee high. It would just get in the way. It would like cut into your leg almost. There's also yeah, this is definitely ceremonial armor because if you look at it, there are no sort of belt pouches. He's not wearing a backpack. He doesn't have anything in his belt, he's got no secondary weapons. So it's quite clear that this dwarf is not actually in a campaign for war. He's just posing in a volcano for some reason, which is kind of strange. Uh, another important thing to note is, of course, he's got very unkempt beard and hair. I mean, he is a dwarf and dwarves, they're kind of prickly about their beards and such. So you wouldn't expect him to shave it, but normally you'd see a, a dwarf beard uh, braid his beard and stuff it inside his armor. Right now, if he was engaged in melee combat, 
you could just grab his beard, yank it around, and like just pain and the fact that he has good leverage. You could just make his head go straight where you want it and then just deliver a killing blow. Uh, the same goes for the hair, of course. And it looks like the hair is combed back. I hope he has applied some oil or something in it to keep it back like that. Uh, if that's just combed with water, it's gonna dry out quickly, especially since we're in a fucking volcano. Fingers are kind of at an unnatural bend here, I haven't, didn't notice that. Oh, um, yeah, I think the rock below my character should have probably melted by now, seeing as this lava keeps flowing in underneath it. Uh, like, you know how water erodes dirt? Lava erodes rock in a similar way, because this is... It's molten rock and it's hot enough to erode the stone away. Ah, oh, Christ. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say, I'm bored! <laughs> no, the queue is bugged. That's a minus point for the game, the queue is bugged. It's almost as if he's posing for something. I wonder what, perhaps us looking at him. He's trying to be intimidating. You can see that he's kind of... His eyebrows are actually moving, so he actually does kind of frown at us almost as if he is trying to intimidate us the uh, the pommel actually appears to have some sort of spikes on them here which seems really unnecessary if you ever need to grab the pommel with your uh, your offhand uh, for example to to shove it forward into an opponent it would be really awkward to actually have spikes there that you could stab your own fingers with uh, the spikes on his on his uh, hands his, his gloves also provide another interesting detail. If he was ever to, for example, wipe sweat out of his brow or, you know, his non-greased hair falls into his eyes and he needs to wipe it away, he would stab himself, he would impale himself with these spikes. He would need to be extremely careful, he couldn't just put his hand up and wipe sweat away, he would actually need to sort of pull the hand out and around and be really careful or he would stab himself. Uh, of course there is the lava, dwarves don't have any sort of uh, protection, some any kind of innate protection against fire, heat or lava. I mean they are stubborn and they are, they have good endurance which would be good for the heat but if someone basically gets him close to the lava, close enough to burn him, it'd burn him and being in plate like this he'd basically get roasted from the inside. The plate would just uh, conduct the heat into his skin extremely quickly and uh, he'd just get charred if someone was, for example, to push him down. Not necessarily into the lava, that'd kill pretty much everybody, but just near the lava, near enough for it to be like putting meat on top of a barbecue. It'd just fry him from the inside, basically. Uh, same with dragons, if you're fighting a dragon, being in full plate isn't really that useful, sure. It might deflect a few claws or bites, but a dragon's most deadly, deadly weapon is of course his breath. So he did just breathe on you, being in plate, you would have a really hard time rolling out of the way. And you just get charboiled inside your armor. It'd be like a, a nice, a nice canned food for a dragon afterwards, like uh, his tin can of, uh, of roast barbecue or whatever. <clears throat> um... I can't keep this going for another 2200 people! Fuck! <laughs> uh, so yeah, dwarves and beards. Uh, dwarves, they will... They, they see the beard as kind of like the truest form of, of manliness. Or I, say, I should say maleness. Dwarviness. The longer and the more grand your beard is, the, the more impressive you are. It's a real social, uh, like, it's a societal thing where you where the beard kind of makes the dwarf. And usually most clans will only ever shave their beard in shame if they do something that they realize is really shameful. If they intentionally betray someone, etc. They will shave off their beard in shame and everybody will see this dwarf doesn't have a beard, he has shamed himself. Getting exiled is considered a much worse punishment for dwarves than being killed. Basically, death penalty for a dwarf isn't as bad as being exiled from your clan. Being cast out is terrible. If you defeat a dwarf in battle and instead of delivering the final blow, the coup de grace to him, you cut off his beard, the dwarf 
I mean, you have made an enemy for life. It is so humiliating for a dwarf to get his beard cut. I suppose it's kind of the equivalent of if you beat a woman in battle and then instead of killing her, you rape her. We're getting kind of dark here, but it's kind of the equivalent of that. Cutting off the, the dwarf's beard is, is really mentally like the worst thing that could happen to him. <laughs> if a baby is born with a beard, uh, it is seen uh, as an omen, often, and Fergie. Normally, they start growing their beard around four or five, and it doesn't really, it doesn't truly become a beard until the dwarf reaches adulthood at around 30, 35 years old. Dwarves are, of course, um, long-lived compared to humans. But uh, if a dwarf is born already with a uh, with wisps of hair on his face, it is seen as an omen of a great fighter, and he will usually be selected and, and, and trained by the very best of the clan as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I'm done, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry for this. Hopefully someone had a little bit of fun with it, at least. I, I had a little bit of fun. I'll see you guys whenever this queue is done. Bye-bye for now.